Hey, so I wanted to take advantage of this empty home to um, kind of share a story and illustrate something that I think many of you may benefit from. Uh, so this is the home that I have lived in for the last six years after I moved out of the home that I had built on the 700 acre ranch when I was married. And um, I know a lot of um, women in your traditional marriage relationship, um, and I know I've had this conversation with many, many people, um, you know, maybe like my personal story, you know, I always worked, I didn't always contribute financially to the income. And it kind of went back and forth as far as, you know, what great work I was doing and then a bit of resentment that I didn't bring home the money. And like, you know, there's this kind of theme among um, some couples like, well, of course you're happy, you know, you get, you have time to do these things, blah, blah, blah. And um, what we provide as the part of the partnership that stays home and makes sure there's food in the fridge and dinner on the table and often still works, right, um, but maybe doesn't bring home as much of the income, is that we don't understand our own value, right? And, um, and so we don't, like, present that, like we don't um, communicate that, we don't stand in that power of like, listen, just because I don't bring home green paper dollars doesn't mean I am not providing a hundredfold to this household. And so I had a dream one night um, where there was a home and these big walls and, and myself or someone, we were taking down the art, it was my paintings. and. Um, and people were like, no, don't take them down. And I'm like, yeah, see, that's what I brought to the table. It's what you bring to the table, no matter who you are. But I'm speaking to some of you, and you know who I'm speaking to. This home right now is not my home. Like, the energy from this home, which I love this home, but it is, it's blank. Um, the art that I hung here, the energy that people felt when they walked in was independent of these walls. I brought it. You bring it. Right? You are a life artist. You are creating energy in each and every moment. And no matter what we produce in this physical 3D world in these Western capitalist societies, the most important things we create are love and compassion and empathy and comfort and um, when we extend a helping hand and a listening ear those are so much more valuable personally I walked away from a lot of material comfort and security and I wouldn't trade it for the world because what I took back was like the ownership and my personal, like, knowing what my value is. So your value is so much more than whatever your job is or how much money you make. The real currency is energy. Are you living a life that gets you fired up? Are you excited about the possibilities? Are you inspired by the people you know? And do you nurture your own inner fire? Do you spend time doing things that you love that bring you joy? If you don't, or if you're like, oh, I used to, that might be a good place to start. That's what I'm so super passionate about. So I am expressing gratitude to this amazing home that provided me with so much healing and a sanctuary and a place many of you have come to this house. Um, well, maybe not many of you, but lots of people have come and done my Creatively Fit coaching training and other retreats, and it's been magical. And it has its next chapter, just like I do and just like you do. Thanks for watching. Bye.